That was the response from the opposition benches as Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohi rose to present his bill on firearm licenses. The opposition members of Parliament on two occasions were successful in preventing Minister Rohi from presenting his bill. This led to Speaker of the National Assembly, Raphael Trotman, warning the members of Parliament. The interruption continued forcing the Speaker to adjourn the proceedings. <laughs> He left with me, but in vain I must suspend this assembly by the powers vested in me understanding orders 47-9 until the 22nd of November 2012. Prior to the interruption by the opposition members, Speaker of the National Assembly, Raphael Trotman, said that he sought legal advice from Senior Counsel Rex McKay and Stephen Fraser on Home Affairs Minister Clement Roy addressing the National Assembly. He also said that legal advice was sought from Ulili Burnham of the United Kingdom Bar on Attorney General and Anandalal's move to the High Court, challenging the no-confidence motion against Minister Rohi. I ask specifically of counsel the following questions regarding Mr. Rohi and ask for an answer. A. Whether the President of Guyana is obliged to act on the motion adopted by this House. And B. Whether Clement J. Rohi, Mr. Clement J. Rohi, can continue to perform his functions as Minister of Home Affairs in the National Assembly. In answer to, in answer to the questions posed, I have received the categorical and unequivocal opinion that His Excellency the President is not constitutionally and or legally obliged to adhere to the motion. And similarly, in respect to the second question put, that the member Mr. Clement Rui is not restricted from performing the duties of the Office of Minister of Home Affairs. As previously indicated, I can find no provision within the standing orders of this National Assembly, the Constitution and the laws of Ghana, which restrain the elected member from fulfilling his functions as a minister. As uncomfortable and, under, and as unpleasant as it is for me, I must stand on the side of the rule of law and find that in the absence of a specific resolution in this August House that specifically sanctions the member and directs that he be restrained from speaking in any one or more of his capacities, I am by law duty bound to find that he must be allowed to speak. Trotman cited a case in Dominica which was similar to that of Minister Rohis. The OECS Court of Appeal ruled that the suspension was unlawful. In the course of its decision, it held that the parliamentary privileges in the United Kingdom which are derived from ancient customs and practices and are not, rather, incorporated into the local legislative framework of the British colonies unless they are expressly done. I find that the same is the case in Guyana. However, one would have thought that if a member realized that he does not enjoy the confidence of the majority of the House in which he serves, that he would consider resigning or requesting a reassignment to another ministry. In the absence of the observance of such hallowed practice and custom, the member remains in his position. This is both unfortunate and regrettable <coughs> development for a young nation such as ours seeking to etch its own brand of parliamentary customs and practices. He went on to say that the Speaker has no right or powers to restrain the Member of Parliament, Minister Rohi, from speaking or carrying out his ministerial duties as it relates to the National Assembly. Members of the House may wish to consider whether a substantive motion on the subject of the other members' participation in the House should be pursued or not. I thank you. The Combined Opposition, a partnership for national unity, APNU, and Alliance for Change, AFC, passed a no-confidence motion against Home Affairs Minister Clement Roy prior to the National Assembly going on recess. Reporting for Prime News, I have for Wharton.